Hello, hello, this is Steve from Flip Screen Games. And this week saw the reveal of the Logitech G Cloud Gaming handheld with a big focus on streaming. And one of the standout features of that device was not only xCloud streaming, but also Xbox Remote Play. And it turns out this is also possible on Steam Deck with some open source software. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get that set up on your device. So getting xCloud and Xbox Remote Play set up on your Steam Deck is a lot simpler than you may think. There's a couple of small uh, open source projects that are gonna help us uh, get this set up. The first is Xbox xCloud Client, which is currently being rebranded to Greenlight. And the second is a project called App Image Launcher, which is gonna streamline the install process of the uh, Xbox xCloud Client. Now you can follow Microsoft's tutorial, and I'll post a link to that if you just want game streaming, you want the official solution that uses Microsoft Edge. But I will say that Greenlight is significantly simpler, significantly nicer, and I would recommend that as the process that we go with. So I'm, go I'm on the GitHub page, and I'm gonna download the latest version, which is version two, beta one. We're gonna to wanna to download the one with .app image at the end of the name, and that is the SteamOS version. Uh, or the version that works with SteamOS. Uh, it will also work with other uh, flavors of Linux, and they've also got versions for Windows, Mac OS, or whatever version of uh, Linux you're running. Uh, and the same for App Image Launcher. I'm gonna download the x86-64 App Image version. And these are gonna download to our Downloads folder. So he, you can see they're downloading. And once it's downloaded, we're gonna right click on the App Image Launcher, and we're gonna go to Properties. I'm gonna to go to permissions and I'm gonna tick the is executable box. And this is just gonna allow us to execute it. Next, I'm gonna open up the console app. Now this does require a console command, but don't be intimidated if you're not familiar with the console. It's just literally drag the icon of app image launcher onto the window. And we're gonna type the word install. And this is gonna install app image launcher. That was it. Um, so the next thing, uh, to do is head over to our home directory and you'll see a new applications folder that's installed here. Now all we need to do is drag Greenlight from our downloads into our applications folder. We can just move it over. So it may take a moment, but the next thing what we'll do is we'll click on the little Steam menu, go to all applications, and you'll now see that under G we've got Greenlight installed. Um, so this is just streamlined the process and it's installed for us. Now we can boot up Greenlight. This is booting up um, over on my other screen. So let me pull it over. Now you can see I've already uh, logged in uh, before. So what's going to happen is um, on first boot, it's going to tell you to, uh, to sign up and to log in. Um, and then you, what you can do is you can either go to xCloud Library, which will download all of the... Um, available games that you can stream, so either on Game Pass or non-Game Pass games if they ever add them. And from here you can just start a stream, you can just start a game if you want to. So I can click on say, seven days to die, I'll start a stream. And this will just load up a game um, and I can go ahead and connect a controller if I wanted to, or I can uh, just play with a mouse and keyboard if it's one of the games that supports mouse, mouse and keyboard. So the other option that we have as well is to stream from our actual uh, local console. So you can see I've got my living room Xbox on standby here and we can start to stream up and I'll show you what that looks like in a little bit. For now though, what we're gonna wanna do is get this over into game mode because for now this is just in desktop mode. So to do that, it's fairly simple. You just need to open up Steam and we're going to go down to add a game in the bottom left and add a non-Steam game. Now from here we can just select Greenlight and we're going to click add selected programs. That's added in Greenlight with the correct name. Now we can right click on this and click properties and we can then rename this. So I'm just going to rename this Greenlight. And under launch options, it's already added the no sandbox flag, which was thanks to the app image launcher, but I'm gonna also add the full screen flag. So dash dash full screen. And this will automatically boot up into full screen mode. So now what we can do is we can head back over to gaming mode. So I'll see you over there and we'll open up green light and we'll see how it all works. So I'm back here in game mode and you can see I've got green light installed now. I'm gonna click play on this. 
I'm just going to boot up green light. So first of all, it opens up this little, little authentication window that quickly goes. And you can see I've got the Xbox here. Um, what we need to do, though, is configure the controller. We're going to want a gamepad with mouse trackpad. And we're also going to want to set another button to be the correct key. By default, there is no key for the Xbox button on Steam Deck. So I'm going to go over to controller settings. And I'm going to select the uh, the template that I want, which is gamepad with mouse trackpad. And that's going to give us a mouse trackpad that we can navigate the green light interface with. I'm going to edit this layout. And I'm going to set up the left trackpad to be the button that I want to be the Xbox button. Now, you can set any button you'd like to be the Xbox button. If you want to use a, gra a back grip, that's absolutely fine. If you want to use one of the new virtual menus or action sets, then that's also fine. Um, whatever works for you. But for me, I think the left trackpad is what I want. So I'm going to set this to be um, a button pad. And I'm going to add in... Uh, is it a button pad or do I want it to just be a single button? So on click, I'm going to have this to press on the keyboard. And the N key is what green light is mapped to be the Xbox button or the Nexus button, as they call it. So now when I go back to green light, I can now move around with the mouse so I can look through my xCloud library. Oh, one thing I do need to do is change the mouse button, um, so the right trackpad, when I click it, rather than right stick click, you're gonna to wanna to change that to be left mouse click. So now when I click down on the mouse pad, you can see it loads up my xCloud library. And this is gonna load in all the games as we did before. And we'll have a look and see uh, how the, the streaming works over here. So we'll upload, uh, open up Seven Days to Die again, which is what we were playing over in desktop mode. And you can see it just opens up a stream directly to xCloud. So we're starting connection. And Seven Days to Die is now open. And I can click on this Xbox button. And you can see this is the left trackpad I'm clicking. You can see I bring, it brings up the guide as expected. And from here, I can quit the game. Uh, and quitting the game uh, will just take me back out to Greenlight. Now, I can also go over to my consoles. And from here, I can start a stream with my local console, over my local network. So you'll need to go in and follow the instructions on the Greenlight, um, the, the Greenlight read me if you haven't set up uh, or, or if you've turned off game sh uh, streaming from your xbox by default it's already turned on but you can see here i'm logged into my local xbox and the latency is significantly better than it is um over uh over xcloud just to show you how it works um forza horizon 5 is one of my favorite games so i'm going to boot up forza so i'm just show you how that loads up as well and again because we're running this on uh series x we have the power of quick resume uh we can take our saves with us so you can see i'm straight back into uh forza horizon 5 where i was before um and it runs great like the streaming is phenomenal if you have an if you have a, uh, a decent router in your house then you'll have no problem uh, running these games on your uh, on your Steam Deck. It's no problem whatsoever. Um, so I'm just going to back out of Forza now, and I'm going to show you some of this footage running from the handheld device, so you can see it controlling the Xbox locally. Here we are back in my living room and you can see I've got Forza Horizon 5 here loaded up on the Steam Deck using the Xbox Remote Play. Now my TV's got the Xbox plugged in in the background which you can see and hopefully this demonstrates that the latency uh, between the stream and the actual game is almost indistinguishable. There's like a slight feeling that you get but Compared to xCloud, it really is night and day. And I think that latency is also really apparent here on Hitman 3. I'm able to pull out my gun and shoot some guards. Granted, my aim is uh, terrible when I'm looking through a camera, but, you know, I, I just don't think I'd be able to play a game like this through xCloud on my you know, 60 megabit per second connection. Whereas on remote play through green light 
it's absolutely fine. Uh, and I'm going to build up another game here called You Suck at Parking, which is a little indie title which requires a little bit of precision. Uh, and, and hopefully you can again see that the latency is is next to nothing and the, the streaming is, is really phenomenal. Uh, Microsoft has done a really good job with the remote play and I'm glad that there's an open source solution to, to bring it to Linux because previously it was locked to just Windows PCs, which is really nice. Uh, but I think that's going to wrap it for today's video. Uh, thanks so much for, for watching. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Pop a comment down below as well as to what games you're going to be playing using Remote Play or xCloud. Uh, I'm very interested to hear what people are playing on their Steam decks. And I shall catch you in the next one. <laughs>